Todd 30, it's been 28 years since the murder of a teenage girl became one of the most high profile and controversial cases in Kern County. But all these years later, the name of the man tried for this homicide is still more well known throughout the community than that of the victim. Today, the family of Maria Rodriguez is hoping to change that and to remind everyone there has still been no justice for their beloved sister and daughter. 17's Olivia LaVoyce joining us now with more. Olivia. Jim, a few months ago, Maria's family set out to try to get the case reopened. It's a case most probably wouldn't think of as a cold case since the trial was so publicized. But the fact remains, there was never any resolution for the family. They've decided to reopen the wound that never fully healed to try to finally get answers. Did Offord Rollins kill Maria Rodriguez, or was it someone else? 17-year-old Maria Rodriguez was just weeks away from her senior year when she was gunned down in a wooded area near Lost Hills. Maria, the baby of the family, was described as quiet and incredibly sweet. No enemies, nothing even close to that. At the time of her murder, Maria was also very much in love. We went through her stuff this morning and there's boxes and cards and papers and it's just... Maria and offered Maria. She was so in love with him. It was just ridiculous how in love she was with him. That high school romance between Maria and 17-year-old Offord Rollins quickly became the focus of the Sheriff's Department's investigation. Rollins was arrested twice before eventually being tried. The case dominated the local news cycle. But the center of it was always Offord Rollins, not the victim, Maria Rodriguez. Rollins was convicted of first-degree murder, tried as an adult. But to many surprise, he was sentenced as a juvenile, meaning that the then 19-year-old would be free at age 25. Three years later, his conviction was reversed because of juror misconduct. When prosecutors tried the case a second time, the jury was hung. They opted not to try him a third time, so Rollins was free. But that didn't mean he didn't do it, according to prosecutors at the time. This left Maria's family in a limbo of sorts. They weren't sure what to believe, and to some extent, still aren't. Some people feel that he is the killer. Some people feel that it might be something more just because there hasn't been any hard, concrete clarification on what actually happened. Maria's niece took it upon herself this past spring to try to get the case reopened. I just wanted to see if anybody would pay attention. She used social media as her biggest tool, trying to remind the community her family still doesn't have justice. Her mission really was to get a definitive answer. Did Offord Rollins kill Maria, or was it someone else? What forensic testing could be done now that wasn't done in 1991? So far, she has been able to discuss the case with the Sheriff's Department who tell her Offord is still the one and only suspect. She says that's helped to hear to some extent, but the family still has many unanswered questions and a raw pain that is just as fresh today as it was 28 years ago. She was very loved. She had a lot of opportunities ahead of her, you know. She was robbed that chance. She was someone's daughter. She was someone's aunt. She was someone's sister. Now, the person Maria's family is really hoping to get to sit down with is District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer to go over all the facts of the case and see what, if anything, could be done now. One thing is for sure, Offord Rollins could be retried for the murder for a third time, but if convicted, he wouldn't spend a day behind bars, as his original sentence said he could only be held until age 25, which has now long passed. The family is very much hoping that if you know anything, you will finally tell them. You can call law enforcement or secret witness, or you could reach out to them on their Facebook page, Maria Madera Rodriguez. Cynthia Zimmer's office said today she couldn't discuss the case because it is currently being re-reviewed. In studio, I'm Olivia LaVoice, 17 News.